The difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but rather a lack in will. Vince Lombardi. My friends, don't lack the will. 10 to 15 minutes each and every day is all we ask. Let's jump into these charts. Man, a booming day. Everything up at least 1%. Well, more everything's up more than 1%. We're going to start off first with the S&P 500. Look at this volume. We're not even to Friday yet. And look at the volume. It's already above average. Highest volume we've seen since back on the week beginning December the 11th. Not a huge candle so far, but for the day alone up 1.31%. Look at the two-day chart. Now, you can see we had a day and a half of down movement. It was down in the morning, but then boomed up in the afternoon. So we have a doji there on the two-day. It's staying above, of course, that weekly trend line, weekly trend moving up. You can see where the half-day came down and touched and then boomed up in the afternoon. Boy, a whole lot of volume driving it down, as we talked about yesterday on Thursday afternoon. Then above average volume in the morning, driving it down some, but then popped over with a little bit above average volume in the afternoon. So market still moving up on the S&P. What about the NASDAQ 100 up 1.18%? Now again, not reaching the high of last week yet. Volume is showing, of course, red means that it, it opened lower than the prior close. That's all that red candle means. There's no negative volume. And what we see here, of course, is that we are a little above average. Look at all the volume there on the two-day. You can see all the volume on the half-day, too, down in the morning, but up in the afternoon. Didn't manage enough up movement to push through the weekly trend line on the half-day chart. Two-day, red spinning top just sitting there. So we'll see how this week ends. Now, what's up with 20-year bonds? Man, we saw the two-day push through on the Monday-Tuesday candle. And then look at all that volume that we see on the Wednesday-Thursday candle that ended today. And of course, on the weekly candle, super high volume with that green spinning top above the prior trend line. And we see one, two, three, four days of just unbroken up movement. Actually boomed up more in the morning on Friday with the dividend being declared and then pulling back a little bit in the afternoon. 1.63%, our biggest gainer for the day. Again, watch this for tomorrow. We'll see if indeed we are going to be turning around. Okay, what's up with gold? Well, gold, look at all that volume. We see these last few weeks, we've had pretty low volume. And of course, we're booming right up to what in gold? Well, right up to the ceiling we've had on many, 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 mm, we can go way back in time here, many, all the way back to May the 1st, we have had this ceiling again and again and again be the topper for gold. We'll see as we're a booming up with that average volume. Let's keep an eye on this as the week ends, see how strong it ends. Now, talked about this yesterday. We no longer have XBTF. We now have HODL, H-O-D-L. It is the new VanEck Bitcoin Trust. We only have four weeks now of it. So we're going to look at the 24-hour day Bitcoin chart. What do we see there? Again, looks very similar to some of these. Let's see. Here we go. Some of these other charts, doesn't it? To gold and to bonds as we look at Bitcoin. Uh, we don't have any movement there on the bottom on that weekly chart. Still not up to average. We can see on the two-day that uh, the, the previous high on the Monday, Tuesday was 43,853. And this one, well, it's the same, isn't it? 43,853. Huh, interesting. So we're right there at the same spot. We can see uh, again where average volume here on the two day, weekly, not quite. Well, maybe by the time we get to the end of the week. To the close of business tomorrow, we'll see average volume here. But again, after two weeks of down movement, looks like Bitcoin's trying to turn around. We'll see how things look at the end of the day. Of course, looking here at the Bitcoin Trust, this ETF that's now taking the place of XBTF, we can, of course, and again, we don't have any average volume here because it takes 
20 candles to get average volume. We don't have it here either on the two day. Only we got it on is that half day chart. We can see that it is above that down candle. So we've got just a doji hanging out there. Higher volume than last week, a little lower than the prior week and lower than that first candle on the second week of the year, beginning the 8th of January. So we'll watch Bitcoin and see, particularly with the help of this 24 hour a day chart, if it appears to be ending the week, turning around and going up, going to be paying attention, of course, to that volume. That is where we are, my friends. So appreciate you being with us. Always love to hear from you. CW at chartingwealth.com. Don't forget, Patreon members, we'll be putting out for you tonight the weekly vertical crossovers. God bless.